You guys, thank God I did not take that talking about my gist on. I'm caught. She's in a house cause baby girl for life is about to put on the lawyer wig as she's threatening to sue and it's even asked that people who spread this gist turn an apology and I'm just like Thank you Thank you All I have Welcome back to another exciting episode of Trends and Opinions. My name is Becca. Let's get into the trends. Okay, like I said, Take Makiwa has asked that Nigerian Telegraph, who published the news, should take down the story and actually tend an apology, else she's going to sue. She did this via a lawyer, Adei Kaolumide San. Right step to take by any aggrieved individual in the circumstance. The language used by the San leaves more to be desired and is unprofessional, do I speak as a lawyer? She should reject the apology and pursue the case in court. More people should come out and drag these clowns to court. They just can't be allowed to be publishing fake news all the time. Okay, that's it to talk about Kiva trending today on social media. Let's take you on to more trends. Big Brother Ninja Lockdown is trending again today and it's kind of because of the sheeps and how it's been going in the house. Also, and Nengi, nobody really knows what's happening there. Also, just tries to withdraw and then Nengi goes on and put on that killer shot and also is drawn back. Fans are asking that also concentrate on himself because he might be losing himself in the shadow of Nengi. And I kind of agree. By the way, Neil said Lekho is a god in human body. Real knows real. That's my guy. Neo and V are officially becoming a thing and it's so cute to see. Lekho took them on a cruise yesterday night and you know Kid Waya was just there looking like Are beginning to get tired of Lilo and Eric. People is me because I am fucking tired of these guys. This shit is becoming boring. Yeah. The most annoying ship in Nigeria currently. I agree. Okay, that's about it. So big with the Niger. Calm down, it's trending because you know you guys know this cute child that was appealing to his mom to stop beating him and you know calm down and stuff. <laughs> I should calm down. Yes. I should, that's why this is trending. But Banchi Day Samu Olubu is the governor of Lagos State had this to say. I saw a video of a charming young boy online asking his mom to calm down as she was sent to punish him for a misdemeanor. I was moved by sobriety, which reflected in his promise of last chance when confronted with the fact that he's a regular offender. I love this boy. He's so sweet and smart, and I love the way he expressed himself. If anybody knows how I could reach him, he deserves some gifts, both cash and some other stuff. So tell any badge of Rick Weather is trending at number nine because she had a diary session and she's beginning to give us some content and some great vibes i shall not tell any badges this is style to campaign because i don't know where all this confidence is coming from even directly you have pack a bag people like us are not sure nengi they fear tolani con this new big brother's career gone and finally in today's trends we will be looking at fair women which is trending at number 12 now this is the origin of this particular trend what could this be what could this be this better be a ticket to Dubai for two weeks straight round trip. What is this? You know what it is? I just want you to know that I know. Nevaeh is not mine. She's what? not my daughter. Why did you do this tonight out of all night? Why? Because I wanted you to know that I know. Why would you do this? She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Why would you cheat? I didn't cheat. And apparently a man gifted his wife or whoever she is to him. A DNA test that proved that he is not the father of her child. Or the child that she supposedly told him was his child. And man, this is mean. A woman was caught pants down guilty of paternity fraud. And a major concern was how and when the heartbroken man chose to break the news to her. After God, fear we met. She cheated on her husband with another man and had a baby for the other man. Her husband finds out, does a DNA DNA test and presents the result on her birthday. She didn't even say sorry or try to explain. Only thing this woman could say was, why did you do this on my birthday? Fair women. Okay, that's about it. And that is all in today's episode. Catch you tomorrow on our Thursday episode. Stay fly and be good. Mwah.